Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm just playing Destinies 2 on Google Stadia. Now uh, you may be thinking that I'm playing uh, on my browser or maybe via a Chromecast device, but I'm actually playing on my 4K Fire Stick. So in case you didn't know guys, Google Stadia actually announced that um, they're going to offer a free tier on their cloud game streaming service now the trouble is on the free tier um, yes anybody can sign up but unfortunately you don't get any games to play for free out of the box so yes you can access the service but oh, uh, uh, sorry <laughs> yes you can access the service but you have to purchase some games before you can start using it now one of the other things that they announced were was that you can actually sign up to the pro tier uh, free for two months now the pro tier does actually give you nine free games that you can start playing straight away and destiny 2 is actually one of them so effectively you can sign up for free and you can access nine of these games and pay absolutely nothing for two months then after the two months if you like the service then of course you can carry on your subscription or you can just cancel it and you'd have basically paid nothing so in this video today, let me show you how you can also enjoy Google Stadia absolutely free on your 4K Fire Stick and this process also works on your Nvidia Shield so you can follow the same steps and you can now start enjoying all of these amazing games on your device. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, we're going to use our computer to register for a free account. Now, if you just navigate to my website, which is techdoctoruk.com and click on tutorials, there you'll see a dedicated tutorial on how you can get Google Stadia working on your Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield or really any browser absolutely free. You can see here, here is a direct link to the specially modified Chromium browser that will work on your 4K Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield and that's what we're going to be downloading in a few minutes. Now before we do that, for us to register for that free account, we can click on this link here where it says to register for your Stadia account. Let's click on that. Let's go to that new tab and here we can just confirm that you will get access to Stadia Pro which will give you all of these nine games that you can start playing straight away absolutely free for two months and then after the two months you can then continue your $9.99 uh, per month if you want to do that and of course if you don't want to do that you can just cancel it anytime and it wouldn't have cost you anything so let's click on try now and we can then sign into our Google account now you can sign into any Google account that you have or if you want to you can create a brand new Gmail account just for this so whichever account you want to use just sign into that account let me do that now. So follow the steps there. You'll then be asked to set a screen name and also uh, choose an avatar. Once you've done that, your registration will then be complete. But as I mentioned at the start of this video, that's just the free tier. So although you can now technically purchase some games and start playing them, you won't actually get any free games in the free tier. So I know, I know it's a little bit strange, but it just means free access to the service. However, you can get access to those nine games by just signing up to the pro account. So just click on subscriptions, and you'll get two months free access to Stadia Pro. And as we can just hear guys, they're not gonna charge me anything until the 9th of June. And that's if I want to carry on using the service. So once you have now fully signed up and you'll now see all of the games in the library and the Stadia Pro games are those free games that I mentioned. So let's say for example, I want to claim uh, Destiny 2. I can click on that. And here you'll see a button for claim but because i've already done that on my account i just get the option to play now but i do recommend go through those nine games and just claim all of them so at least they are tied into your account so even in the future if you want to start up again you'll always have these nine games in your personal library okay so now that we've got the account created let's jump over to our fire stick or nvidia shield and let's get this working over there okay so on our fire stick or nvidia shield make sure you've got the option to install from unknown sources enabled do that and open up Downloader. And as per normal, let's make a connection to my website, which is just http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk and the numbers 2019. Type that in, click on go or press the play button on your remote. 
Now, when you get to my website, as mentioned before, you need to go to the tutorial section and there is a dedicated tutorial on this entire process on how you can get the free Google Stadia working with those nine games on your Fire Stick or your Nvidia Shield. So let's click on the hamburger menu, let's select tutorials. And just a quick tip here, guys, because a couple of you are mentioning that when you do go to the tutorials, you don't see the latest tutorial in the list. Well, because I use caching on my website, there is a chance that you may be looking at an older version of the page. Now, the way we can reload the page inside Downloader is just press the context key, which is the one with the three lines. And here we can select the option to disable JavaScript and reload page. Now, we don't actually want to disable the JavaScript, but the actual option there will allow us to reload the page. So we can click on that. That will force the page to reload. We can press the context key again, and we can now say that we want to leave JavaScript enabled and it'll just reload the page again anyway. So follow that step if you don't ever see the latest version of my web page. Okay, let's now open up the tutorial and we should see we have two links here for the required software. So this is the key one. So this is actually a modified version of Chromium, which does give you the support for your game controller. So you can use this with an Xbox One controller or maybe with a, a PS4 controller. All of them are supported through this specially modified version of Chromium. And the other thing you need is just the mouse toggle because initially for you to select some of the options, you will have to use a virtual mouse. So and let me just say a massive thanks to Sig Max CP, who's actually the person that created this specially modified version. So definitely all credit is to him for creating this great piece of software. Okay, so let's now download Chromium first. Let's click on that. And as per normal, we should see a big green download button that we can click on. And that will then download that specially modified browser directly onto our Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield. So let's click on that now. And that then begins the download. And just while you're waiting, guys, if you are enjoying these kind of tutorials, if you want to see more tutorials on the 4K Fire Stick or the second generation Fire TV Cube or the latest Nvidia Shield TV Pro, then please do hit that like button and also think about subscribing because that really is just the best way you can support my channel. So thanks for that. Okay, let's give that a second. Okay, so that's now finished installing. I already have the mouse toggle on my device, so let's now press the home key and let's now start up this specially modified version of Chromium, which looks like that. So let's open that up. Well, let's press down a few times on the remote control and click on accept. Let's leave the light mode on. Let's press down, click on next. So the first thing we're going to do is bring up our virtual mouse. So double press the play button. There it is. Let's now click on now, of course, if you do have a Bluetooth mouse or any other kind of mouse, you can use it in this process. But for me, I'm going to use the mouse toggle and click here. And then I'm going to disable the mouse by pressing the play button once. Now I'm going to use uh, the directional pad and just type in Stadia. So S-T-A-D-I-A. OK, let's click on next. OK, let's now bring up the virtual mouse. And we can see it's all in the news here where it is now going to be free for two months. So let's scroll down. And the way you scroll down with the virtual mouse is you press the forward key on the remote. So forward, forward, forward. And we're actually looking for the official Stadia page, which we can see is this one here, which is stadia.google.com. Now, of course, instead of searching that, you could just type that in. But I just find this to be a little bit quicker. Let's click on that now. And once again, we can see that you can access this for two months for free. But what we want to click on is where it says sign in because we've already registered for that free account. So let's click on sign in. I'm now going to click on add account. And I'm now going to log in with the same account that I just registered for Stadia. So let me just type that in. Okay, let me just accept the two factor authentication. And there we are, guys. We are now logged in and we get this message saying that unfortunately Stadia is not compatible with the device that we're currently using. How do we get around that? Well, this is where we now need to bring up the virtual mouse again. Let's go to the top. Let's click on the hamburger menu, the one with the three dots. Let's scroll down. And how do you scroll down? You scroll down with the forward key. And what we're looking for there is where it says desktop site. Let's click on that. Because as we can see with the mobile version of the site, it's just not supported. But I'm hoping as soon as I click on this, Within a few seconds, we now are in the official Google Stadia home screen. So definitely do give a thumbs up for that. Now, the way we navigate around here is I can now disable the virtual mouse. So press the play button once. Now I can now just use the directional pad to choose whichever game I want to play. So we can see we have grid here. Uh, we've got basically the nine free games I previously uh, mentioned. Um, I haven't actually tried all of these. I only tried, um, I think, Serious Sam, uh, Grid, of course. 
um, and Destiny's 2. So let's say we want to play Destiny's 2 now. I'm actually using an Xbox One controller. So the way we can pair that before we actually get into the gaming, if I press the home button on the remote, let's now go over to settings, go over to remotes and Bluetooth devices. And where it says game controllers, we can see I've already paired my Xbox One controller, but let me just remove that partnership. And let's now pair that again, just to show you how the process works. So I turn on the Xbox One controller, starts flashing. I then press and hold the pairing key. So that should start flashing fast. There it is. I now click on add new game controller. Let's give that a second and let's see if that, and there we have it, you can see the Xbox controller. Let's click on that with the select button. And I can actually now move around the UI by just using the standard remote control. So let's press the B button to go back, back again, and back a few more times. And let's now go back to Chromium, where I'm hoping that Stadia will actually detect that this controller is now being uh, connected. So let's press A. Yeah, let's give that a second. Do we see anything there? We can see it says controller linked. So I can now actually start the game. I can just press the A button there and start the game. So, and there we have it guys. We are now actually streaming this game directly from the cloud onto our baby 4K Fire Stick. Let's see if that moves. Yes, it does. Okay, that's moving around. All right, uh, let's see if I press and hold this to run. Yep, that runs. So really guys, input lag is, like obviously it's not instantaneous, but I'm easily able to move around and control this person and go straight into a wall. But um, <laughs> okay, that's working fine though. Okay, let's see if I can shoot somebody. But to be fair, I mean, something like this to get a library of those nine free games that we can start enjoying absolutely free play on our 4K Fire Stick or NVIDIA Shield or even the Fire TV Cube, I think that's pretty impressive, guys. Um, and I was actually blown away with the quality. Um, and the reason why I keep saying, you know, my baby 4K Fire Stick or the port is just because obviously that is a very low power device. So the fact that it's still able to stream this kind of quality of this uh, game, I think it's still uh, pretty impressive. Uh, clearly you can see, obviously I'm not a, a Destiny player, but uh, take that, uh, uh. but uh, yeah, not not bad for a first uh, first go. All right, so that's the first game anyway. Now let's say you want to quit this game and play something else. How do you do that? Well, I found the easiest way is just to press the back button on your remote, press back, and then you get the option there saying do you want to exit the game. Let's click on exit, and we're back to the game screen. So I can now use the standard directional pad. Let's just try one more game. Uh, let's go for a racing game. I mean, thinking about it, there really are just so many uh, cloud game providers out there now. So we have uh, Microsoft X Cloud. Uh, we have this Google Stadia. I also heard that Amazon are also planning to release a cloud game streaming service. So there really are some big players in the market. And ultimately that does mean for the end consumer, we should get better and better and more options for us to enjoy. Um, but the fact that we do have such large companies backing this, it does show that cloud-based game streaming is the future. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if TDUK can drive uh, better than he can uh, uh, shoot. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm currently 15, so maybe not that good. You can see sometimes we do get quite a lot of uh, compression there, but I mean, really what this service is aimed for, like all of these other cloud-based uh, game streaming services is for people that don't have a gaming PC or for people that don't have, you know, a games console, but they still want to enjoy, you know, gaming on the big screen. How can they do that? Well, this is how, guys, so you can sign up for uh, a fairly cheap subscription and you can start playing all of these games either through a browser or compatible phone and eventually on your Nvidia Shields and your other devices. So that's really who it's uh, aimed for. So no, it's not going to replace your gaming PCs or anything like that, but it's more for people looking for a way to enjoy these kind of games, but don't have the money or don't want to fork out for, you know, big gaming PCs or consoles. Uh, they can play these games through a browser or a compatible device pretty much wherever they are. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.